Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Bird Studio. My name is Fabi and today we're gonna talk about the vegan or the vegetarian diet related to yoga and if you have to be vegetarian or vegan to practice yoga. Before I wanted to say that I respect everybody but I think in this time of the humanity we need to understand that we are different and we have different needs and if we all need the same and we are just be the same um, I won't be sustainable so I'm gonna just share my own story about this process of my diet and then after you can decide what is best for you okay, so as you know we are a yoga teachers and we have as well a school for yoga to certify yoga instructors And this is a common thing, the people is worried about it, of now that I'm doing yoga, I have to be vegetarian, or some people is already vegetarian or vegan, so what I'm going to tell you is my experience. So my name is Fabi, as you know, and I am 46 years old. So I've been passing for different phases in my life about diet. So when I was young, in my, in my 20s, of course, I went to the vegetarian diet. In one way, it was because I found that it was lighter for me um, to eat in that way, but also, of course, all the cruelty of the animals, you know, I'm a, an animal lover, so it was really into me. And so I start to reduce because in my family, they are not vegetarian, they are just eat as a mixed um, diet. So I start to do it and it was fine for a while until one day I completely faint. It was in a, in a shop. So then, um, you know, the doctor started to tell me like, uh, it's okay, you're going to be vegetarian, but you have to um, eat supplements because you cannot eat only vegetables and cheese and carbs and stuff like that. You really need supplements. So in that moment, Because maybe I say, like, I don't want to expose my health. And maybe at that moment, it wasn't not that open to the knowledge about how to get a different type of diet and stuff like that. And my first things, to be honest, it was like, uh, you know, I don't really want to feed myself with pills or powders. Never do it. And I think that it's, it's not my style. I love the pleasure of the flavor and I love eating. So I think like it wasn't for me. So then I have to come back to normal diet that my parents with chicken, red meat. My family never was big in red meat, but always we have like uh, different dishes, vegetarians and fish. I'm from Mexico, so in Mexico is like a big choices of vegetables, fruit, dishes, um, grains. So it's really rich the diet and you can mix it very well. And I kept going, I kept going for a while. And then after uh, my late, um, my middle 30s, beginning my 30s, um, I decided again that I wanted to be vegetarian. Now, I was, um, I, I met my partner, who is my partner now, and who is always behind all the production. So, hi, Gislan. <laughs> He's the one who's always behind the scene. So, um, So we decided the vegetarian diet because we start to get more involved into the world of yoga and even like unconsciously you get really really um, influenced with the others around you, you know. So then we start again this vegetarian diet and blah 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 and try new dishes, following nice chefs and everything. To be honest for me, most of the food was tasting the same. But it wasn't something that really mattered. The problem was that my partner started to have a lot of eczema, a lot of skin problems. So we decided we're going to do a food test to see what's going on, what we are allergic and what we're not. So when we do that uh, food test uh, allergy, our mind completely changed because most of the things we were eating, like uh, for example, um, sesame seeds, Uh, cabbage, cabbage, um, because now we are living in Ireland, so it's not the same type of food you can gain here. So you have a little bit reduced, and now it's a little bit more open, but it still is reduced, or it's, it's very difficult to find certain things, or very expensive as well. So, 
everything, even like uh, things like, for example, almonds. My partner was um, vegetarian to almonds, grains, loads of nuts. So definitely his food test was like, a, you cannot be vegetarian, you know, this is not in your life, you know what I mean? Like a, you have to eat um, animal products. So, so then we start to come back again because we say, okay, you know, it's again, it's about healthy, it's about well-being. And we come back again to that um, decision that we can feed ourselves with pills and supplements and powders and how to say that the new thing is like a substitute of meat, substitute of sausage, substitute, 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 substitute. And after, after a while, we start to realize there's not that healthy neither that because we don't really know what is there. Maybe there will be some products of some brands that they are really good and they have a lot of ethics. But so far, we don't know. So then in that process, we have to change again our diet and we have to balance, you know. Me, I am not really like a big meat eater. You know, I really love like a clear soups, like a Asian clear soups with lots of vegetables, love salads, love fish, um, and meat as well. Like, a, but it have to be very well cooked in some, some something specific way. Um, chicken, I'm not really fan of chicken, <laughs> but I can eat it sometimes. Um, so we start to kind of balance our diet in a way that it wasn't not too much uh, meat or animal products, but still we can feed us in a way that is not uh, affecting our health. Now, what about yoga? So for the last um, years, for the last, um, I think so we are six, seven years, that we start this process of the teaching training. So, so far, we are not been seeing any book, any uh, source that they say that you have to be vegetarian. You know, I respect in India, and I've been in India, and the food is fantastic. Definitely in India, I can be vegetarian, no problema, because they have so much source. The only problem in India is that they use as well a lot of um, dairy products. They something that I can. I'm, I, I'm really intolerant to dairy products. And so... And I am not discussing the what you have to do or what you don't have to do. But sometimes the best diet, and I highly recommend you, the best diet is what is best for your digestive system. You know, for me, the dairy is not good for my digestive system and a few things that I've been noticing as well. So what is the best to do to find what is more optimal for you? So again, even if you practice yoga, you don't practice yoga, if you are in whatever... Um, activity that you more enjoy, meditation or whatever, the most important is to know your digestive system. So what we found after doing the food test is to test which food making us feel better, which, which food put in our digestive system like a bloating or pain, for example. And then we start to realize where were the things we feel more better when we eat and that's why, that's why we make really our own diet and I we just have to close ourselves about this about that about that about that I'm vegan I'm not what are you what are that so I think in the last years we're putting so much labels and what we eat and at the end of the day we are just human beings who have to live and who have to enjoy eating we cannot have the pressure because I remember when I had that transition when, uh, because for a year was, I was vegetarian and I remember that sometimes I was craving for food and I feel so guilty because it was a, like, a, I don't know, a hamburger, for example. And then sometimes when I went to eat the restaurants and I was eating like a, a meat or something, I feel so guilty and I feel so under pressure. The people will see me or my clients or my students and stuff like that. It was really too much pressure. And then I understand how much pressure we are putting into the society about what we eat and what we don't eat. And to be honest, we have to open our eyes more, 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 more and our mind to understand that not everybody is suitable for a vegan and a vegetarian diet, neither for a meat eater diet as well 
But the most important thing, and that is what I wanted to share with you, is that the best diet I found is balance. Not too much of this, not too little like this, not too much of this, not too little of this. Balance. Balance. That you, we don't abuse too much of things that probably are not too good for our health, but neither that we just completely shut out any anything that we constantly were exposed because it's, so, it's, it's impossible. Like uh, you go to a supermarket, you go to a uh, um, traveling and you have all this food that you're supposed to don't eat. And then you feel like uh, under stress. But sometimes it's like, uh, okay, if we are more flexible, like, uh, okay, today is this, you know, I have pizza, you know, the pizza is something is heavy for me, for my stomach. But okay, I eat it now and I feel comfortable with that. And I don't allow any more that uh, pressure or what you have or you should to eat. More in the world of yoga, because in the world of yoga, we are really thinking that it should be. Yoga comes from the culture of India and the India has a culture of a vegetarian. But there is no sources, as I repeat again, that they say that we have to be vegetarian. If we respect, I believe more in the respect of animals and that's why we shouldn't abuse, you know, and think like a really, like a, for example, if we weren't that a mother now and we have to hunt, Definitely, if I'm gonna hunt, definitely I will be vegetarian. Pretty much, I probably die, you know. So, will you if you really have to hunt and stuff like that, you won't eat everyday meat. So this is the balance we have to understand. Or sometimes we have the access um, to the supermarkets and we just exaggerate, you know, and we eat a lot of things. So one more time, my best diet is. To know my digestive system, know what are the things are making me feel good, and the other thing is balance. It's the best diet. And sometimes you will eat bad, sometimes you will eat good, but then you have a balance in that way. You know, for example, I love, um, I don't know, one specific brand of chocolates that I know is bad, but I come and I eat it. But I take off all this stress out of why should I, we I should not. And for example, if I eat one or two today, I might probably not eat in three, four days, you know, because as well I feel that my stomach isn't good. So that is what I say, you know. So I hope you like this video and I hope it helped you. And I want to share a little bit more about my experience in, in this um, yoga uh, world and as a practitioner and as a teacher. So thank you so much to listen to me. Please let me know uh, other things that you want to talk or any questions you have. And one more time, I respect everybody and I think everybody has their own beliefs and I just give you my own point of view. Thank you and see you again. Remember that you can find us on Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio. Don't forget to like, share and comment and subscribe. See you in the next.